Hey everybody, what's up? This is Rich from PCMac.com, PC Mechanic, PC Mac TV, and uh, what you're seeing now is a very old editing technique from years ago, but not many people do it for internet video for some reason, that being something called PIP. You see, which is picture in picture, you see me at the bottom right corner of the screen. And the reason for doing this is so you can have more interaction with the author. It's better than just watching uh, a cursor running around on the screen when you see actual face talking to you, so gives a little more uh, personal touch to it, so we hope you guys like it. Uh, anyway, I was looking for a subject to cover using this PIP technique, and I figured, well, even though I've covered this subject before, uh, I could do Yahoo Widgets. Now, Yahoo Widgets is at widgets.yahoo.com. And uh, you can download it. Uh, Mac OS X users already know what widgets are from the, uh, I believe it's called the dashboard. And in Windows, uh, and I'm running Windows XP, this, by the way, uh, you can use Yahoo widgets. Now, Google, excuse me, Google also has an offering called Google Desktop. The reason I prefer Yahoo widgets over Google Desktop is mainly for the fact that you can put Yahoo widgets anywhere on your desktop. And I like that. With Google Desktop, they have this desk bar or sidebar, I don't exactly remember what they call it, where anything, any gadget that you put inside that has to stay there. Now, granted, you can move this bar to snap to the right or the left side of the screen or what have you, but I much prefer it where you can have these individual uh, widgets for the Yahoo one anywhere you want. And I'm just going to show you a few of them here. Uh, here I have a clock. Here's calendar, and here is the weather. It is 1.18 p.m. in Tampa, Florida. At the time I record this on Monday, June 25, and yes, it is actually 90 degrees. It's a hot one today. You probably hear my air conditioner running in the background. Uh, here's a new one I just downloaded recently called the uh, Automotive.com Gas Pricing Widget. This will show the lowest gas prices in your area. All you have to do is put in your zip code, the mileage Ra uh, mile radius and uh, what grade you're looking for and I have it sorted by lowest price first which at the time is two dollars and eighty two cents and from what I understand that's pretty low compared to the rest of the country whether it is or it isn't I don't know because I'm not checking prices elsewhere uh, but from what I understand it's, it's pretty good so I'm happy for that and uh, here's another one I downloaded recently which is traffic flow alerts you'll notice here that there are thick green lines on this. These are the major routes in the Tampa Bay region and it means that green is clear. If I looked at this at say the morning commute or the evening commute you would see yellows and reds which would indicate moderate and heavy traffic. In addition to that we have some other icons in the legend here. If there is an advisory or an event or an alert of some type it will show it and then if you hover over it it'll actually tell you what it is. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, this is powered by Traffic.com. Traffic.com is a fantastic website. Even if you don't use this widget, Traffic.com is definitely worth going to, especially if you commute a lot. If you have uh, any sort of drive to work, which, we, which most of us do, I would definitely check out Traffic.com. Now, if you want to add other widgets, you can go to the widgets.yahoo.com website, and you can click on the widget gallery. The widget gallery is great. It's easy to navigate. It's a lot easier than navigating the one for Google's desktop. They could take a lesson from Yahoo on this one because it's much easier. And as a matter of fact, the one that they show here currently is the uh, gas alert savings uh, from Motor Trend and Automotive.com. That's the reason I got it because I saw it here as a, a featured widget. And there's tons of stuff that you can get for this, so it's kind of cool. The only drawback to Yahoo widgets is that it is kind of a memory hog. So if you're running it and you notice that your uh, windows may slow down, either you're running too many widgets or it could be that uh, you may have other things running that uh, are also resource intensive like Yahoo widgets is. I give it to Google Desktop that it's a lot less resource intensive than Yahoo widgets is. Uh, so depending on what you want, download the one that you like. Both are non-obtrusive softwares. Uh, obtrusive? more like in base. It doesn't, it basically doesn't get in the way of what you're doing. So, and the nice thing about uh, both of them is you can turn them off 
very easily if you don't like them. Install and uninstall. Uh, there's no spyware or anything like that, no malware. There's no pop-ups that appear, which is cool. I like that. So if you want to put a little pizzazz and some useful stuff, and especially if you have a dual monitor set up like I do, like uh, to the right, which you can't see, is I have a second monitor to my right. And when I don't have anything on that monitor, what I do is I turn on the Yahoo widgets and I have all this stuff there. So I have all this stuff and it's informative. So when I'm doing my computing, I can take a quick look to the right and then I can you know, see the calendar and a bit, nice big clock and the gas price and all this other stuff. So check them out. That's widgets.yahoo.com or if you're more of a Google fan, it's desktop.google.com. And this is Rich for PC Mac. Take it easy.